Hey there guys, welcome back to another Southside Noob tutorial. Uh, today we're taking a look who, at someone who got some major good changes in 2013. Uh, Paul, definitely a strong character with high damage, uh, some decent mobility, he's got a lot of great pokes, and he's really uh, a top contender in uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. So, without further ado, we'll get right into it. Uh, he's got some decent mobility, I like his uh, back dash here. This is the command one, it's called Sway goes back just like that. It's much better than his back dash. His back dash is kind of slow, so this is the one you want to use. It's also has an invincibility at the startup. His forward dash is not too bad. It doesn't go very far, but it is pretty quick. It's uh, you know, it starts up quick, ends pretty quick, so not bad stuff there. Uh, his jump is kind of average. Uh, not a lot of great jump ins. Uh, I like his neutral jumps, but uh, other than that, he's, he's kind of normal. So we'll get right into his normals next. Uh, his jab is really good. Combos to itself. It's gonna be the your primary uh, damage dealer. How you get to your your your, your uh, hit confirm combos. Uh, his light kick is a little bit different than most characters. It cannot link to a jab, so this is kind of important. You can't do anything besides uh, get to your launcher combo or uh, you know do those those chain combos from here. Um, other than that, his standing jab is not bad. You can get some good standing jab pressure going on. It's not very good range, uh, but it is pretty quick, and so you know four hits there. And you can get to, uh, from there, you can get to your medium punch, so you're going to get some damage out of that. Uh, I don't use the standing light kick too much. Uh, this, this looks like it hits low, but it actually doesn't, so it's not, not that crazy. Uh, it's not, not as good as it looks. Uh, let's see, his mediums are really good. Uh, the medium punch combos it to itself, uh, so you can get a lot of good damage out of that. The standing, also special move cancelable. I like the hitbox on it too, it comes out really fast. It's not a bad counter poke or poke on its own. Uh, it doesn't have the range that these mediums are going to have, but again, it, it's a, more like a counter poke, and it is special move cancelable. Uh, the far standing medium is not special move cancelable, but it's still one of my favorite pokes, uh, and you can get to your launcher from here, which is really good, really good range there. The uh, the medium has a little bit less range, uh, excuse me, the crouching medium has less range, uh, but not a bad way to get to launcher either, uh, and it has really good hitbox on it as well. Uh, you can also get to a, any special move from here, uh, so that Ray is being most important. So that's going to be a great way to get some good punish damage from really far away. Um, let's see. Next up, we're going to do some Fierces. Let's get right into those Fierces. This is how you can do a lot of your damage. These, uh, the Fierce uh, Punch and Fierce Kick are using the combos, more or less. Uh, very good stuff there. This one has very little recovery. You can even land a medium after this, and that, that should combo. Uh, if you're not a beginner Paul player like me, uh, there we go. Just like that, you get to your combos from that. Really good stuff out of that that uh, fierce punch. That's kind of do maximum damage. That's going to come from that. Uh, the far standing is not bad. It ha it's a uh, on counter hit. Uh, you can get some good stuff coming out of that. Um, let's see if I, can, if I can cause a crumple there. On a counter hit, it does crumple, and you can land uh, combos after that. Oh, there we go. So there you go, you get some combos going on there. That's not the best one, but you uh, you get the point after that. So it's not a bad standalone poke. It has a lot of startup though, so it's going to be character specific on who you want to throw this out against, but keep it out, uh, as an open mind to what you can do with that. Um, the, the crouching is not bad either. Again, you can get from, uh, here from Jab, so not bad stuff there. Uh, it's good, good damage potential in that. Uh, I like that one a lot. Kind of an anti-air. He's got better stuff, but keep that as an option. Uh, his sweep's kind of average. It outranges his medium kick, but just by a hair. Um, so you're going to want to tend to stick with that medium kick, I think, for most things. Because it, it has a lot less recovery time. Uh, the far standing fierce kick is kind of bad. I don't use this really for anything except for launcher combo. That's, 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 your, that's pretty much its only use. Um, Alright, let's get right into his jump attacks now. He's got some fun stuff in the corner. The medium uh, is actually a fake cross-up. Uh, unless you really want to cross up and to do it late, and it'll cross up for you just like that. Same with that light, uh, the light kick is opposite. You do it late, and it won't do that 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 fake cross. Uh, the fierce kick, kind of looking at the same deal there, uh, but it doesn't really cross. So you, if you want to cross, you actually have to do that that medium kick. Um, uh, as far as standard jumping goes, goes uh, that fierce punch is not bad. It's got a really good hitbox on it. Uh, the fierce kick's got a good hitbox as well, but it has a lot of startup. Uh, I really recommend the throwing out that medium kick for pretty much everything. I really like it. Uh, it just works kind of for everything. Uh, other than that, I don't really use too much. Uh, we talked about this one just for a second earlier. I love this uh, this this jumping normal here, the fierce punch. I feel like you're gonna have the most success with this. It doesn't have a good range on it though. Uh, so if you're looking for range, you're gonna need to use that medium kick. It's got slightly more more range, uh, but but definitely not bad either. 
Uh, air to air, you're looking for that medium punch, but that's about it, I think. Other than that, you want to don't really want to use anything else. This fierce punch got some weird hitbox on it, uh, so you might be able to trick people with, with that, but it's not not that strong. And I think that's it there. Um, let's see. That's not it for his air there. I'll go to his overheads really quick. He's got some good overheads. The forward medium is not bad. The forward fierce is going to be used in uh, some target combos. Uh, but it's definitely not bad. Uh, he's got the his uh, uh, command move here. This one is nice. It's a very good overhead. On a counter hit, it's going to cause a ground bounce. You can also get it to do that same ground bounce using the EX. Uh, easy combo there from that because you're getting 400 damage off an overhead is really powerful and so uh, don't, don't be afraid to waste that meter because it's, it's definitely a, a strong payout if you land it uh, so that's it that, that, that combo is really easy to do too just go ahead and lead off with your uh, shredder there and that finish up just like that easy stuff um, let's see that's it for the overheads uh, we'll get into the special moves now uh, we'll start off with a sway. We talked about this for a second earlier. Uh, the light version is a nice backdash. Uh, the medium, you get that hit there. This one you can actually combo after it. So you can get to a medium punch and then from there you can kind of do whatever you, whatever you like. Uh, let's try to see if I can get a basic combo in there. There's a two hit. Oops. Right, one more try. Up. Oh, oh man. The link on this is pretty tough. There we go. Right, just like that there. So it's not a bad option as a uh, as like a poking tool. So if you think Ryu's going to be throwing something out, you might be able to catch him, get that in there. The Fierce is a little bit different. You can't combo after it, but it does more damage on a standalone. Um, and also on, on it has a little bit better range. As you see, his hand kind of stretches out there. So it's not a bad tool to use. Throw it every once in a while. EX is going to get you that nice uh, wall bounce there. You can get some good combos coming out of here. If you're looking for a simple one, uh, just go ahead and stick with your bread and butter. Uh, nice easy damage there. So And not, not a whole lot to learn. Or uh, not, not a whole lot of new combos to learn. Uh, I think that's all I want to talk about for the Sway. Just kind of a, a nice little tool he has. Uh, take a look next at that Smash. This is your primary combo ender and a lot of juggle things. I've already seen me use it quite a few times. Uh, not too much to talk about here. It's just a nice combo ender. Uh, the EX, again, is going to get him another form of a, a wall bounce. Um, and so you can go ahead and you know, do whatever combo you'd like there. Uh, you can stick with that bread and butter if you'd like. Um, but it's got some good options there. Uh, it's not safe on block uh, on any version. So you can't really just throw this out there as like a poke. So you don't want to be just throwing it like that. Uh, you're going to eat punish combos from, from Ryu or from anybody else for that matter. EX as well, not safe on block. So you got to be a little bit careful. Uh, I'll show you one of those just like that. All right. Um, let's see. Next up, we'll talk about his shredder. It's a really important normal for him. Uh, re really important special move for him. Uh, we'll have Ryu jump here. Uh, this is his primary anti-air. Uh, the the light kick version that is. Just like that. Uh, after this, you can get some combo damage too. So it gets your standard bread and butter just like that. Or if you got super, uh, you can, oops, <laughs> sorry. You can go ahead and get to your super as well. So 400 damage off of a uh, off of anti air is really solid stuff. Um, so important to note, the light is for anti air. If you're on the ground, however, you want to be sticking with that medium, and that has invincibility to the ground and to the midsection. And so on wake up, that's a great tool. If you think Ryu's gonna be throwing out medium kicks, it's a good option. Uh, but it's not safe because if Ryu's crouching, it's going to go right over him and you're going to get uh, fully punished. So even though you have invincibility, you're not going to have invincibility when you land. So if you if you really want to be safe uh, and you know he's going to throw something out, you got to throw that EX. That's going to hit a crouching opponent um, and it'll be a little bit, uh, it's, a, it's a stronger guess, but it does cost that meter. So, uh, but that's what you got to do. Uh, let's see, I think that's about it for the Shredder there. As we, we've been doing combos with it all day, um, so... Just keep that in mind. It's very, very high damage move as well. Um, you can get some combos from that. And so next up, we'll go to um, uh, the raise. This is a great one as well. This is your primary way you're going to be doing a lot of damage. Um, you have different ranges on here. That's the light. The fierce goes really far. Um, so if you're looking for it to be really safe, uh, like for that medium kick, that's going to hit all day. Uh, really good stuff coming out of that. The EX is really nice because it has invincibility. So you see Ryu throwing out some medium punches there. Gonna go blow right through that, no problem. It's a great move to do on wake up. Uh, gonna give me a sweep. 
on wake up it gets you safe uh definitely get you out of there uh if he's throwing out uppercuts on wake up you know it's gonna go right through it so it could be get you kind of safe there depending on who you're playing against uh just a great wake up option so go ahead and use that a little bit uh Kinduchi, i think it's a lot stronger than this one because this is the one that people throw out a lot and it's just uh, a little bit more random, but you, you can't predict it as much, and it'll blow through a lot of things as well. And if it does hit, uh, you're going to get some decent damage out of that. Uh, let's, oh, we'll do the real combo there. Boom, there we go. So 400 damage off that guess is not bad. Uh, so definitely some strong options there. Alright. Um, let's see. I think we got all the special moves. I think that was it there. We'll go ahead and talk about just some of his combos now. Uh, I've already demonstrated most of his combos that I like. Uh, we'll go to the hit confirm combo. Why this one is important. Um, oops. This one is important because if you're not sure if the jabs are going to hit or not, um, you, you have time to see, oh, the jab is hit. I can go ahead and finish that with my most damage. And go ahead and finish it up. That's why hit confirm combos are really safe. Um, if you don't need to hit confirm it, uh, then just go ahead and straight to that fierce punch. And that's going to be your uh, most damage there. So that's going to be your punish. So it's a little bit more damage. But really, this is nice because the hit confirm does almost as much damage as... Uh, almost as much damage as your punish. So that's, that's, that's kind of rare in, in a lot of these characters. Uh, as far as launcher combo goes, uh, we already showed it earlier. Just get to that crouching fierce kick uh, and get Zangief in there. That's really going to be your best bet. Um, it's nice because that that even though it looks like this hit only uh, doesn't hit crouching, uh, it'll even hit a crouching opponent, which is really nice. Alright. Uh, oh, as far as entry combos, let's go ahead and show that one. Uh, you're just going to lead with that smasher, just like that. You can use the fierce punch or the fierce kick. Um, that's going to be your, your most damage uh, entry for, for not too much effort. So, uh, there. Oops. Oh, I messed it up that time. There you go. So it's not, not that hard to do. Um, the timing is a little bit strict, so try it in training mode a couple times. So don't, don't give up on it. Definitely got to learn that one. And I think that's about it for Paul. I think that's enough to get people going. Uh, he's a very good character now, so just have some fun with him. Um, don't be afraid to test out that, that dash. It doesn't look very safe, but really it's got some good in invincibility on it. Um, oh, we'll talk about how to get around fireballs. He's got a couple of good ways to, uh, to go over fireballs. Um, this uh, overhead move is actually goes over fireballs. So it's not if you can read opponent's fireballs, not a bad option there. Um, he's got the EX Sway. If I can... Oh, this one here. It's really strict on the timing, but it will go through for you. Uh oh. <laughs> I like that. Uh, it's kind of a bad example, because you can actually punish with it. There we go. But you really have to do read the fireball, so it can be a little bit tough. But that's another good way to go around that. Um, which one? Oh, and the last one, of course, EX, EX rays. Let's go. Just like right through like that. That's that's probably your best option. The range is really good. Uh, you, it can even be a reaction, so that's really your your best option. Um, I think that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching our Paul video. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, leave us a comment. All right. See you next time.